एवरीवन आई आतिशा शौर्य एंड योगेश शर्मा सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर कंसल्टेंट फ्रॉम डेवॉप्स कॉम्पिटेंसी हियर एट नास्टेक गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ वेबिनार ऑन एज योर वर्चुअल वैन वेलकम टू आवर वेबिनार ऑन एज योर वर्चुअल वैन टुडे इज एजेंडा विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग वेरियस फैक्ट ऑन द पावरफुल नेटवर्किंग सर्विस we will start with an introduction to azure virtual van and giving you on a uh, overview of what it is and how it functions following that we will dive into the types of azure virtual van discussing the different configuration and their specific applications next we will highlight the key features and benefits of azure virtual van illustrating how it, it can optimize your network performance and security too and uh, we will also cover several use cases of azure virtual van showing on uh, real world examples of its implementation and towards the end we will have a conclusion to summarize the key takeaways finally we will provide a practical demo to give you a hands on understanding of azure virtual van in action Azure Virtual Van is a comprehensive uh, networking service designed to simplify and optimize large scale connectivity across branch offices, data centers and Azure environments. By leveraging centralized hubs located in different Azure regions, Virtual Van provide a robust and scalable solution for branch to branch, branch to Azure and virtual private network connections. These hubs facilitate seamless integration of Azure virtual networks, on-premises sites, and remote users, ensuring high performance and reliable com communications. And with automated routing and policy management, Virtual Van reduces the complexity of network configuration and enhances operational efficiency. Security is a cornerstone, right? So. with storage encryption for all vpn connection and uh, integration with azure security service it provide a great huge amount of security let's understand it with an example a global retail chain can uh, use azure virtual van to connect its numerous stores distribution centers and corporate headquarters by establishing vpn connection from each retail location to the nearest azure hub the chain ensures secure low latency access to critical application hosted in azure and then automated routing between hubs enhances performance and reliability while centralized management allows it administrator to monitor and configure the supports the rapid expansion of new retail location with minimal configuration efforts as your virtual van this become a key enabler for the retail chains digital transformation and operational efficiency now the type of azure virtual van so we have a uh, two type mainly we can say a basic virtual van for the basic requirements and the second is a uh, standard virtual van for the standard requirements so let's understand the basic requirements the basic virtual van type is designed for simpler use cases and smaller organization offering essential connectivity features to meet fundamental network needs here is some detailed overview of its capability the first one is basic hub so here we can talk about the connectivity and centralized management connectivity here provide a basic connectivity between the azure virtual networks and on premises networks it serves as a central point for managing and routing traffic but with the limited features compared to the more advanced offerings let's talk about the centralized management it offers a unified interface to manage connections and, and simplifying a network administrator for smaller setups and then we have vpn gateways here we talk about the site to site vpn and point to point vpn site to site vpn supports secure ipsec ikee and connection between on premises sites and azure facilitating secure communication between branch offices or data centers and azure resources point to a uh, site vpn enables remote users to securely connect to azure from their uh, devices using vpn protocols like open uh, vpn ikev2 or sstp 
this is deal for supporting remote uh, uh, work forces and ensuring a uh, secure access to azure hosted applications then we have routing in the routing we have two options like basic routing capabilities and simple traffic forwarding basic routing capability provide fundamental uh, routing functions primarily uh, uh, through uh, static routes administrators need to manually configure routes which are uh, uh, dictates how traffic is forwarded between different networks and then a uh, simple traffic forwarding facilitates a uh, straight forward traffic management without the need for advanced routing uh, features such as uh, dynamic route optimization or complex policy configurations then we have no express route support here we have public internet only the basic virtual wan does not have a support express route connection which offer private high performance connectivity to azure data centers this means all network traffic must uh, traverse uh, the uh, public network which might not be suitable for uh, scenarios requiring a uh, high security low latency or grantee performance and then we have limited scale here we have two option like smaller deployments and uh, uh, not suitable for large scale these are the two uh, ways here, uh, two uh, point here we can say mainly uh, in smaller deployments like uh, Uh, tailored for smaller deployment with fewer connectivity requirements, and it's a uh, deal for a small businesses or specific use cases where extensive networking capabilities are necessary. And then uh, we can say for uh, not suitable for large scale, we can say because uh, this basic virtual van lacks the uh, scalability and uh, advanced feature requirement for uh, large or complex enterprises. this network it's less suitable for organization with extensive networks networking demand or uh, sophisticated network architecture and uh, now we have standard uh, virtual wan type the standard virtual wan type offer advanced networking capabilities and it overcome all the uh, all the demerits of we can say not the merits but all the feature we don't have in basic uh, virtual wan we can cover it in the standard virtual wan so the standard virtual wan type offers advanced networking capabilities uh, making it ideal for large organization and more complex networking scenarios so it provide enhanced feature and better scalability compared to basic types uh, virtual wan so here we have uh, some features like uh, standard hub uh, it offers advanced connectivity options and uh, superior performance enabling uh, seamless integration with various azure services and it provides high availability and it supports automated failover ensuring robust and uh, um, uninterrupted connectivity for critical applications and then we have vpn gateway that supports site to site and point to point vpn connectivity with higher throughput and uh, increased uh, connection capacity we can say so this ensures secure and reliable communication between on premises network and azure the gateway also support multiple vpn protocols enhancing capability and flexibility for different networking scenarios and uh, then we have a uh, express route gateway it facilitates like dedicated private connectivity using express route for secure and reliable connections this gateway ensures low latency and high bandwidth connectivity making it ideal for data um, intensive applications it also support uh, redundancy and uh, 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 load balancing and providing enhanced reliability and performance and uh, enhanced routing we can say it provide uh, advanced routing capability including dynamic routing bgp uh, supports and customizable uh, route tables so these feature enable efficient and uh, optimized routing of network traffic allowing for seamless interconnectivity between different network uh, segments and then we have azure firewall it include uh, an integrated firewall Uh, for centralized and comprehensive network security management this firewall offer advanced uh, uh, threat protection traffic uh, filtering and uh, logging capability it also supports application and uh, network level filtering ensuring that uh, robust security and across the entire network infrastructure is having and then we have uh, 
traffic manager it uh, optimize uh, traffic flow based on latency performance and other criteria to ensure efficient and efficient network traffic management traffic manager supports multiple routing method including geographic performance and priority based routing enabling customized traffic distribution stack disease and yeah so these ensures that user experience are the best possible performance and uh, uh, reliability reg uh, regardless uh, of their locations and yeah now we have key features and benefit of azure virtual van azure virtual van is designed to mainly simplify and uh, uh, optimize the networking needs of enterprise by offering a unified and highly scalable network architecture uh, providing them after and so the key features is how it is a global transit uh, network architecture the key feature it is the first one so we will talk about here is hubs and school, uh, spokes and then end to any uh, connectivity so let's talk about hubs and spokes it is a mainly centralized hub in our different azure regions at as the core with uh, spokes. Spokes are nothing but the VNets, we can say, connected to these hubs. And uh, these setups uh, allows for a robust and scalable network topology, we can say, and uh, by enabling efficient resources management and streamlined uh, uh, network traffic flow, it also simplify uh, the management of complex network environments by centralizing the connectivity. So any to any connectivity here we have uh, the main feature we can say any to any connectivity is uh, facilitates a seamless connectivity between branches, data centers and Azure regions. So these feature ensures that all part of the enterprise network can communicate directly with each other, enhancing collaboration and data sharing across geogra geographically uh, disappeared locations. So how it simplify connectivity? We can say it simplify connectivity with branch to branch, site to site VPN and point to point VPN express routes. We have already discussed about that, but let's all uh, let's again discuss how it simplify uh, branch to branch connectivity. It connects branch offices through Azure's global network. And this eliminates the need for complex and costly on-premises network hardware, reducing operational uh, overhead and improving connectivity reliability. And for site-to-site, -site, it provides a uh, secure IPsec VPN tunnels mm. and um, uh, uh, between on-premise network and Azure VNets. This ensures data is transmitted securely over the internet and protecting it from uh, interception and unauthorized accesses. And uh, point to point uh, site VPN enables a uh, remote connect to Azure VNets using open VPN and uh, SSTP pro protocols. So this flexibility we can say allow remote workers to access uh, corporate resources from anywhere and ensuring the productivity and security in mind. And then we have Express Route offers dedicated private connectivity from on-premise network to Azure, bypassing the public internet from enhanced performance and security. So this dedicated uh, connection reduces uh, latency, improves uh, reliability, and ensures sensitive data remains secure by avoiding public uh, internet routes. Now we have benefit of Azure Virtual Van. So we have here scalability, high availability, and uh, cost efficiency, enhanced security, right? So we will start with the scalability. Here we can uh, uh, take in mind like uh, a global reach and uh, automatic scaling. For the global reach is uh, nothing but effort, uh, without efforting, uh, extends across multiple regions to accommodate worldwide networking requirements. This global coverage ensures that enterprise can maintain consistent performance and connectivity no matter where their operations are located. And uh, automatic scaling adapts dynamically to fluctuations in traffic and network loads, eliminating the need for manual adjustment 
this capability ensure that the network can handle spikes in demand and provide a seamless user experience without interruption and high availability build, uh, where we will talk uh, building redundancy and SLA back in uh, uptime. Uh, here, uh, building redundancy guarantees continuous availability and operational reliability through integrated redundancy and failover mechanisms. And this uh, design minimizes the risk of downtime by automatically redirecting traffic and resources in the event of a failover. And uh, 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 SLA's backend uptime delivers robust uh, uh, service level agreements that uh, define guarantees uptime addresses. And this ensures that uh, the network infrastructure meets enterprise uh, grade reliability standards and provides assurance uh, uh, for critical business operations. And the cost efficiency reduces hardware needs, we can say here, because by decreasing rely, reliance on costly on-premises network or uh, equipments. This uh, reduction in hardware requirements uh, streamlines maintenance and uh, upgrades uh, uh, contributing to overall uh, cost savings. And uh, also we have here a feature like pay as you go pricing, right? So uh, features of uh, flexible like it give a feature of flexible pricing structure that charges only for the resources that is that has been consumed so these approach allow organization to manage their budget more effectively and scaling their expenses in line and needs and against security like um yeah all the uh, centralized security like um, it, it provides centralized security management, streamlines uh, security oversight with the unified approach to management and control. This centralized um, management uh, simplifies the application of security measures and uh, uh, help maintain consistent uh, protection across the entire network protection it provides uh, robust security through integrated features such as azure firewall uh, ddos protection and, and uh, support defenses. so these tools uh, work together to safeguard against a, a wide range of threats ensuring company uh, now let's talk about some use cases So use cases like a global branch uh, network optimization with hybrid uh, cloud uh, integration. So for use cases like, uh, let's take a scenario. Uh, an international enterprise needs to uh, optimize its global branch network while integrating its on-premises data centers with uh, Azure cloud environment. So the company wants to enhance uh, branch to branch communication, streamline uh, security management and ensure seamless connectivity between local and cloud resources. So what will be the solution? The solution will be the implement. Virtual van. So this is the only uh, great solution we can say because uh, implementation of Azure virtual van to address the enterprise networking needs with a unified and scalable architecture let's uh, see all the use cases in uh, detail like uh, we can say branch to branch communication here uh, has been uh, has can, can be stable the um, enterprise leverages uh, azure v1 to like establish direct communication between its branch offices across different trees and by utilizing global networks, the company eliminates the reliance on uh, complex and costly uh, MPLS networks and simplify its network architecture and reducing operational expenses. And uh, Azure VBAN ensure high performance and uh, low latency uh, connecting uh, branch facilitating
so yeah the global reach of azure infrastructure and uh, pro provide consistent uh, network performance across all location these are, are the use cases so simplified network management is one of them and centralized sec and, um, security and management yeah conclusion Our conclusion sheet. So as your virtual one emerges as a powerful and uh, adaptable networking solution for inter uh, enterprises aiming to modernize their uh, network infrastructure and um, by offering centralized management through the Azure portal, it simplifies uh, network administration with uh, comprehensive visibility and uh, control and automation, thereby reducing the operation operational complexity uh, and cost associated with the traditional uh, VBAN uh, deployments. The solution leverages Azure's global backbone network to deliver low latency, high performance um, uh, connectivity, optimizing application performance across geographically di uh, dispersed uh, location. And uh, yeah, with advanced uh, security features such as Azure uh, Firewall and DDoS protection, Azure uh, VWAN ensure that robust protection against threat maintaining the integrity and confidentiality of network data. Additionally, it supports uh, seamless integration between on-premise data centers and Azure and uh, facilitating diverse uh, hybrid cloud scenarios, whether for uh, connecting branch of uh, offices, integrating hybrid cloud environments, or supporting remote work uh, forces, Azure Virtual Van addresses a range of network challenges, making it an ideal choice for business pursuing and digital transformation. So this is all about uh, the VBAN. Let's see the demo and understand it more better. So yeah, over to you, Yogesh. Uh, yeah, hi everyone. So now we are going for the demo part. Uh, so going for the uh, Azure portal. Uh, so uh, Azure portal said uh, first we can uh, create a virtual van. Uh, so uh, inside the virtual van, you can search here. Uh, this is a virtual van. You can create your uh, virtual van. So uh, I've already created a virtual van. Uh, so you can uh, go inside the virtual van. Uh, these are the uh, some uh, uh, connectivity features uh, for the. Uh, this is a how we spoke uh, architecture uh, for the uh, virtual van. Uh, virtual uh, inside the virtual van, we are creating a hub that is a uh, feature of uh, virtual van to connect with the, uh, all the uh, virtual app connections. Uh, so uh, first we uh, go for our problem. So our problem is uh, we have some uh, private resources for uh, inside the uh, Azure Azure site. So we need to uh, access the private resources. Uh, there is a some uh, point to uh, some. Uh, types to access the private resources. First one is uh, create a private endpoint uh, to access the uh, private resources. But uh, uh, private endpoint uh, basically work only uh, create a private endpoint within a VNet. So uh, if uh, you can access the uh, uh, private resources uh, outside the VNet, uh, so our scenario is this: uh, we have uh, two uh, VNet. Uh, first one is uh, East US and second one is West West US. Uh, inside both of the uh, VNets, we have uh, uh, two virtual machines. So you can see uh, this is a East US VNet and uh, second one is West US uh, uh, VNet. So both of the uh, VNet, we have uh, two virtual machines. Uh, you can see uh, virtual machine. Yeah. You, uh, you can see uh, first name is uh, VM East US, uh, second one is VM uh, East US. Uh, you, 
Oh, sorry, we West US. So now we are uh, logging to the uh, first uh, virtual machine. Uh, so going to the connect part. Uh, yeah, connect. Yeah, uh, using the uh, native SSH. So you can just copy the uh, uh, SSS to VM. Uh, so going to the uh, local machine, uh, you can see um, uh, this is. Uh, I have already uh, logged in inside the uh, VM. VM, you can see this is the uh, VM East US and second one is uh, VM uh, West US. Uh, so now going to create a uh, one uh, private resource. So first, uh, I've created a key vault. Uh, you can see. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, this is a key vault. Uh, I've created a one key vault that is a private. Uh, you can see the networking part. I'm uh, disabling the uh, public access. So I need to create a private endpoint connection to access the key vault within a VNet. So I've uh, created a private endpoint. Uh, you can see uh, the private endpoint is connected to the uh, VNet East US uh, default subnet. Uh, so you can see uh, now. Uh, uh, X, uh, now I'm trying to access the keyboard using the uh, East US VM. Uh, so you can see I'm inside the uh, East US VM. Uh, so going to the keyboard side, going to inside keyboard, just to copy this vault URI uh, and try to MS look. Uh, yeah, so you can see uh, this is a West US VM. So I'm not able to access the uh, private keyboard using the West US VM. That is a different uh, VNet. So I'm trying to access same uh, command using the East US VM. Uh, so you can see I'm uh, easily uh, accessible the private resources using the uh, same uh, virtual network uh, VM. So uh, for the different network VM, we need to create a, a bespoke architecture that is a virtual hub, uh, virtual WAN and virtual hub connections. So I'm going to uh, virtual hub side. So I'm I'm already saying that I've already created a one virtual WAN. Inside the virtual WAN, I have created a virtual hub. Uh, so virtual hub, uh, we have created a one virtual network connection inside the virtual hub. Uh, so going to uh, going to going to the inside the virtual network connection. Uh, first refresh. Uh, so you can see I have created a one virtual network that is a, a VNet East US. But we need to create a one uh, virtual network connection for the uh, VNet uh, West US. So click on the add connections. Uh, I'm providing a name uh, West US. Uh, select the hub that is a one that is a uh, name is a V hub. Uh, so select the resource group. Uh, we need to create a hub connection inside the uh, West US VNet. So I'm selecting the West US VNet. Uh, so you can see this is a West US VNet. Uh, and select the virtual network that is a VNet West US. Uh, I'm uh, associate with the default route tables. I'm not using any uh, self-created route table. I'm just uh, associate with the default uh, using the default and propagate route labels using default. Now we have to click on the create. Uh, so you can see our, uh, our virtual connection is uh, adding or uh, so it will take one or two minutes hardly. Mm, uh, so let's talk, uh, talk about the virtual hub. So basically, uh, there are some features uh, virtual hub that is a connectivity. Uh, so basically, there are some steps. Uh, first, we need to create a a uh, virtual when then inside the virtual when we need to create a virtual hub then uh, inside the virtual hub we need to create a, a connections uh, for the particular vnets 
if uh, one vnet inside our uh, east us i have created a one uh, vnet east us connection then second one is a uh, vnet west us or second vnet is a uh, vnet west us so i have created a one more uh, hub connection inside the uh, west us so yeah you can see uh, one is succeeded that is i have already created and uh, vnet for west us it will take uh, one or two minutes you can see uh, one is updating part uh, now uh, there is a uh, one more uh, step to uh, adding that is a uh, add our uh, virtual networking to the uh, dns so we uh, we need to uh, we need to access the uh, private resources so uh, one step is also need that is a uh, link your vnet to, to the uh, private dns zone so you can see uh, uh, one vnet is already linking that uh, is a vnet e east us so uh, we need to uh, one more vnet to link uh, i am using add uh, you can provide a name uh, that is a west us uh, select the vnet uh, i am using vnet west us also uh, click on the create part uh, it will take hardly one minute uh, so you can see yeah uh, going to going back to the virtual hub connections uh, so you can see our virtual hub connection is created uh, so going to the uh, west us vm uh, just to run the same command ns lookup uh, so you can see we are uh, able to access the uh, uh, private resources that is a private key vault but uh, we need to uh, see the key vault uh, uh, we need to see the key vault secrets inside the key vault so i am going to one command uh, that is a ag key vault uh, list uh, hyphen hyphen name. Uh, so our keyboard name is a key hyphen us. Uh, so you can see. So we need to list our secrets. Uh, so you can see I'm uh, able to uh, list our secrets. Uh, you can see this is our secret that is our test. So we uh, I'm using the West US VM. So uh, I'm creating a one more uh, secret inside the VM. Uh, so AG AG default secret. Set iPhone iPhone name uh, name providing I'm testing uh, zero one and uh, value uh, so you can see I'm able to uh, create a secret inside the uh, VM. So I'm listing all the secrets. You can see uh, it will uh, provide the two secrets that is a test that I have already created and uh, one more that I have created uh, that is a testing zero one. So uh, using the uh, virtual van, uh, we are able to access the uh, access the private resources uh, outside the uh, vnet uh, using the uh, outside the vnet uh, vm so that's the uh, demo from our end uh, for re related to the uh, virtual vm so thank you everyone